have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness CBS is the bold and the beautiful sports revealed that Brooke was a heavy drinker in the past, but perhaps because she had encountered many sad things in her life. So she turned to alcohol to relieve her sadness, but in recent years, when she met Rich, her heart was warmed, so she also decided to quit drinking. But now that her feelings for Rich were getting worse, she also loved him very much. Rich's departure to Brooke was a huge emotional shock, since she had no one to talk to. She once again turned to alcohol, and she thought that only when she was drunk, she would not remember the things that hurt her anymore. Brooke was so helpless with what had happened to her recently. All the troubles came to her, so she suddenly couldn't keep up. There were also times when she was weak and thought of committing suicide. Brooke was really pitiful this time around, and she was mentally and physically broken. Perhaps now, only alcohol is a place for her to heal herself. And now she's back to the same alcoholic as she used to be. Hope and Liam see their mother like that, and it's really heartbreaking. The two also confide in Brooke, and although Liam is only a son-in-law, he took care of Brooke very carefully, and their relationship became more and more intimate day by day. In a drunken Brooke moment, she mistook Liam for Ridge, and she rushed to kiss him. Brooke did something she couldn't have done, and she probably will regret it. We'll hope find out about this. Brooke and Liam, after that kiss, how will the two face each other? Later that evening, Brooke and Liam met face to face, but are not are very awkward. Both are feeling sorry for Hope, and they are very worried. If Hope found out about this, would she freak out? Because for Brooke and Liam, both love their other half very much. And both are very afraid of the person they love will leave them. It's all speculation now. But Liam no longer looks straight at Hope with confidence. The two decided to forget about that day, but they just didn't know that Hope knew everything. At that moment, she was really shocked. But reason stopped her. Hope gave herself a short period of time to adjust her psychology. And she decided to meet those two and tell them all. She would never forgive Brooke and Liam for Hope. The two people she used to love were the ones she loved so much. She could do everything for them, but she could accept that she was betrayed by the two important people. Liam is really guilty. He really needs Hope by his side, and now she's pregnant. He was afraid that if Hope got too excited, it would affect the unborn child. So, he apologized sincerely, hoping that Hope would forgive him this time and that they would live the peaceful life like before. Brooke is now regretting her actions because of her after breaking up only Hope and Liam were by her side. The aftermath of the breakup for Brooke was so terrible. She didn't seem to want to live anymore, but thanks to Liam, who is always willing to listen to Brooke, he always gives her the best advice and is also the guy who pulled Brooke out of her psychological black hole. But once she was so drunk that she couldn't control herself, she rushed to the street to end her life. Unfortunately, Liam arrived in time and saved her life. When the drunkenness was still not over, Brooke looked at Liam but thought it was Ridge. She hugged him and cried a lot and then kissed him. This was what Brooke had wanted all along. She wanted to be in Ridge's arms because she missed him too much. When she was drunk, everyone thought it was Ridge. When Brooke took the initiative to kiss her, Liam was surprised. He didn't know what to do next. Since this mother-in-law, this makes Liam even more awkward. It is said that Brooke will also fall in love with Deacon as her son-in-law and give birth to Hope. Will history repeat itself?